So how do researchers go from looking at this man's brain and seeing these protein deposits that helped him, this genetic mm -hmm. difference, and take that perhaps in, into some sort of treatment? That, that, that is the question, Brianna. And, and let me just preface by saying people are quite optimistic about these findings, but there's a long way to go from this to treatments. As one researcher said to us, there's some evidence now just putting more relin, which is this protein, in the brain could help, and specifically in this particular area of the brain. Just doing that could be helpful to people in terms of uh, preventing Alzheimer's, preventing early onset dementia. But I think there's another part to the story, which is that most of the drug treatments that are out there now, Brianna, are designed to clear amyloid plaque away. And as you noticed in the study, and I did as well, these patients who had, you know, uh, who were cognitively doing well had a lot of plaque in their brain still. So getting rid of the plaque may not really be the answer here. People have speculated on this for some time, but this is more evidence to suggest focusing on the plaque is not the entire story here.